Today on the channel, my dad is back and we're going to unbox the Toy Capsule Collectibles NECA Universal Monster 2nd Edition Balls. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Universal Monsters unboxing and review. And today, we've got a very special guest. Tom Peterson. My dad. Back on the channel, the Universal Monsters expert. He is here, and I said, Dad, you want to unbox these with me? And he said, no. And I said, oh, come on. And he said, all right, this might be one you delete, because uh, he thinks this might go south. And if you guys remember, we unboxed something very similar with my daughter Emma, uh, for Chucky blind bag here, and it's just basically like the, it's just like the Easter uh, balls kind of things. You know, like when you get Easter, you go on an Easter egg hunt, and there's things inside. You don't know if it's candy, you don't know if it's money or whatever. Well, it's a Universal Monster themed edition of one of these, and I have no idea what's in these balls. It looks like there's three, six, nine of them in here. So we got nine surprise blind bag things, and blind bags are all the rage right now, as you yeah. know. Huh. Uh, with Elle and Emma coming over to your house, how many times have you got blind bag stuff? I think those LOL things were quite... Like L blind bag. And then Shopkins, Pine. I think, was Shopkins, like then. Exactly. There's been some of that stuff. And it's just like kids like the thrill of the hunt and the surprise. And they don't really like the toy that's inside them True. half the time. Uh, and I was like, well, I never did that. But then if you go back, you put the old business hat on and you <laughs> wore yours today. Uh, it's almost like baseball cards and stuff back in the day. True. Very similar to a blind bag. You don't know what you're going to get inside. Uh, so I guess it's uh, been all the rage for quite some time. But it's like gambling. It really is. Childhood gambling is mm -hmm. what this is. It's legal gambling for kids. Uh, that's what baseball cards are too True. I guess really it all True. comes down to it. we're all gambling gambling away we're like young Kenny Rogers across the table here uh, but we unboxed the Chucky ones pretty much hot garbage I would say but this one I found this on my travels five dollars on clearance I said I can't pass this up for five bucks who knows there might be something really cool in here that warrants the five dollars I gotta think with nine <laughs> things in here it's gotta warrant five bucks you would think right they have at least one one keeper you got to think there's at least one keeper in here. But very, very interesting uh, idea. And it says second edition. You pointed that out to me. I there didn't even go. know there was a first edition. I didn't so, either. Man, we're didn't learning either. new things every day here. So we might have missed that already. We, we could have missed all the good stuff already. Go. Mm -hmm. um, so who knows? Who knows what could be in here? But very interesting packaging. Uh, not a lot of frills to it, of course. Uh, you got the Universal Monsters down at the bottom. I just noticed a creature on the side. Oh, my goodness. So you got the creature. And, of course, the creature is my favorite. Got a shirt on today. So hopefully there's something creature in here. We'll we see hope. if that happens. Um, I don't know. Very, very interesting. So we'll see. But there are other ones. I talked about Chucky. There's also the uh, Ninja Turtles uh, and a few other uh, varieties of this. So... Let's go. Let's see what we're in for. For all um, you know, they could be chocolate Easter bunnies. It could be. Or there could be nothing inside yeah. these. There you go. So then you got a nice uh, Monsters. It just says Monsters. Oh, yeah. Oh, Universal Monsters. Okay. So it's got the logo on here. So, I mean, they, they did spend some money on this. This is a new mole. They mm -hmm. could have used just a plain one. Uh, but they did a little extra. So let's see what we got in number one here. Oh, boy. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> look what that is. I'm okay with that. I'll use those. These are Frankenstein shoestrings. Yes. See you later. I think just about everyone needs a pair of these. Frankenstein yeah. shoestrings. I'm okay with that. That's an interesting they idea. They require some big boots. Yeah, that's right. I believe uh, I got Chucky uh, shoestrings with another one. So that's a reoccurring theme. Hmm. But, you know, you get some black. I, I got a lot of uh, Chuck Taylor Converse shoes. I got a lot of those. Those would go good, yeah. I think, in one of those. And, you know, I can say none of my friends have a pair of these. There too. you go. So that, there you go. Uh, all right, next up, what do we got? Oh, what's it look like? Oh, look at that. That's the mummy. Is that a keychain or what is it that? Is, it looks like a paper it is, clip. It is a keychain <laughs> paper clip. It's a very cheap uh, mummy paper clip. Uh, something going on. Yeah. Or is it an eraser? Could be know. both. It could, could be, be double duty. Double could be either. duty. Yeah. Uh oh. We got one of these. See you later. Goodbye. All right. We're, we're hot into it. So far, I'm going to go with the oh, shoestrings being my favorite. All right, any guesses what this is going to be? Anticipation. Oh, this looks like an eraser. Oh, my egg. goodness. There's your oh! creature. Oh! We're in Look at that. It's the creature's eraser, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man. Shame to ruin that on erasing Gosh, I hope that's not the creature no. thing in here. I, I hope uh, no one ever erases anything. See you later. Goodbye. There you go. That creature, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping <laughs> for something better for the creature. 
Uh, what do I got here? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh jeez. This is a uh, one of those little rubber bands that identifies you as the Wolfman. Yeah, that's right. You can. You want that? Uh, See you later. I don't think I want that identity. <laughs> you can put wear that on the golf yeah. course. Out I wear around. these for good luck, typically, and uh, Larry Talbot doesn't have very good luck. I'll say this one felt empty, but there's something in here. Oh my! It's a patch. Oh, oh everybody loves a good patch. A Universal Pictures Dracula See you later. patch. Now patches are great because you know what they you know. My friend Saxon, the heavy metal band Saxon, yeah. from the new wave of yeah. British heavy metal legends, of course, they told me many, many years ago in the 80s, Kyle, denim and leather, it brought us all together, but it was you that set the spirit free. So I can put this on one of my uh, leather patches or my uh, uh, denim vest patches. Uh, Fit right under the Motorhead logo. That's wouldn't right. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It wouldn't clash. It wouldn't. Universal no. Pictures Dracula. No. Look at that. Everybody loves a good patch. Uh, especially new wave of British heavy metal fans. We love patches the most. Uh, we got another one here. What do we got? There it is. Oh, boy. What is it? Uh, this is a Bendy um, Bride of Frankenstein. See you later. Whoa. What is it's that? Kind of a, a clicker or something uh, that, that clicks. For dogs? For Lemmy? You can uh, click? Maybe so. You get a treat? Let me see this. Maybe so. Or is it a magnet? Uh, it could be a magnet, too. <laughs> a clicker, a <laughs> magnet. Double duty as a uh, magnet. It might stick to something. I think it's a magnet. Oh, okay. This is really lame. So it belongs in your refrigerator. I guess so. Warning the monster. Well, I can't wait to see how that looks with everything else on the oh, refrigerator. It's going to look really good. Oh, my. It's going to look good. And I always love hiding things. When I get new magnets, I put them in the refrigerator, and I see how long it takes Angie to notice. Yeah. I like to do that. It's a little game I play to keep myself entertained. Because at a point, you just wonder, what color is your refrigerator, That's really? That's exactly yeah. right. What, what do we What's got? Under what that? is this? Oh, oh my. get out of here. This is, this is see a you later. sticker of Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, so it's a just peel and press sticker. Is it a scratch and sniff? <laughs> <laughs> Not from here. It doesn't seem like it. That seems to be the lamest thing so far. Yeah, I would say so. Man, yeah. this, is, uh, this is really close to being worth $5 at this where point. Where did these come from? Walmart. <laughs> and where did Walmart get them? Uh, NECA in and China. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Follow the trail. Follow mm, the money. Boy, what do we got in this one? Oh, this could be the real keychain. Key See you later. Is Whoa! A, this is a Wolfman keychain. Oh, this is a little better. It's rubber. Let me fix that. <laughs> That's a little bit better. I could put that on my uh, work backpack, maybe. Oh, there you go. Let me see that. It's kind of like the uh, mummy keychain. Same thing. <laughs> this is the Wolfman. It looks like he's ready to grapple. This looks like an old school promo from like Vern Gagne back in like the 50s or 60s. This is, you know, he's ready to grapple. He's ready to go. Uh, Wolfman, uh, a great grappler, I've heard. Oh, man. Sadness. We're down to the <laughs> final one. The final one. See well, you later. Well, I can't wait. Goodbye. I, I really, what do we think could be in here? Who are we missing? So we've had Creature, Brank, Frankenstein, Mummy, Wolfman, Dracula. Mm -hmm. Who could this be? Family of the Opera, King Kong? Maybe one of those two we're missing. I'm hoping the Creature. Uh, I just don't think we're getting two Creatures in here. And that's what I really wanted the most. I wanted something cool. Feels like it's got a little weight to it. What could it be? Any guesses? I don't well, know. Well, even though it may be the Creature, you'll still be disappointed. <laughs> You're right. You're exactly right. All right. Here it is. Oh. Whoa. Now, what is this? Yeah. Pin? Oh, it is a pin. It is a Dracula, Dracula pin for your lapel, wherever. So, luckily, I do have a backpack I carry for around for work. Uh, you know, the suitcases and briefcases, or briefcases, I should say. You know, briefcases were all the rage. Yeah. You've had briefcases, right? I have, you bet. What was your favorite briefcase uh, model? Were you a Halliburton guy? Or you weren't that um, fancy? No, I can't, I can't recall. I remember you having like a brown leather briefcase, yeah, though. Sure I remember did. that. But back yeah. in the day, you had to wear a suit to work every single day. You had to wear a, sure have a briefcase. I mean, how many suits do you think you owned at one time? Probably like 50. Probably 15. <laughs> 15 suits. Not 50. 50. 50, mm -hmm. 15, same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I used to have to wear a suit and tie a lot of times. And with COVID, thankfully, that's went away. Is uh, I can't rock these luscious locks uh in a suit very well, I don't yeah. think. I haven't had to yet, but I don't know. You used to always tell me, how do you stay employed? How do you stay employed with this look? And he's right. I wonder sometimes. It all started with the business casual in the 90s. That's when the ties came off in yep. the late 90s and, uh, and moved up to this. Casual place. Fridays. Everybody loves casual Friday. See you later. Oh, yeah. off the screen. Look at now, that. I love it. Now, Hit we, the need screen. To, we need to buy another pack of these so we can get the matching cufflinks. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know? Probably missed that. We buy all these blind bags to get that. But I'm going to put that Dracula one. That's... I guess we had to rate these in order. My favorite. This sticker is my least favorite by far. 
The shoelaces, I just don't have a pair of shoes those would work with. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Wolfman bracelet, second mm -hmm. worst. I just don't do anything with those bracelets. If you wear that on the basketball court, people will fear you. It's oh, like Teen Wolf. That's Remember right. The movie? I, I've yeah. never seen Teen Wolf. No. Shocker. No. Shocker. Actually, I'm going to go with the Magnet, second worst. Then we're going to go Wolfman, third to last. Then I'm going to go Mummy. I don't even know what this is. Like, I think it's a keychain, but this is a keychain. Yeah. I don't even know what this mummy thing is. It probably is. hangs on your book bag or whatever I guess. you use it. Uh, and then I'm going to go Dracula Patch. Then I'm going to go... I'm going to go Creature Eraser. Dracula... No, I'm going to Wolfman Keychain. Dracula Pin. And my favorite are the shoelaces. Oh, really? Okay. I like the shoelaces. Wearing probably. Yeah. You can uh, freshen up your pair of shoes. A lot of people throw away their shoes because their shoelaces are ratty. Sometimes you just clean your shoes up a little bit and you just switch the shoelaces... Bam, you got new shoes. New shoes. I don't know if those will go with my patented red figure hunting shoes, uh, but we'll see. Well, I, at I Christmas time they would. I guess Christmas time. I remember Christmas. Yeah. All in all, I'd say this is worth $5, but not a penny more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's a pair of shoelaces cost? Two bucks? Two bucks, maybe? Uh, I like this because I do have a backpack I carry around for work that has all my like heavy metal pins and stuff on it, so I'll add this to the collection. Uh, everybody needs a Wolfman keychain. Uh, my wife always loses my uh, second set of keys for oh my, my company car, and it drives me absolutely crazy. So maybe if she gets the Wolfman keychain on that, she won't it's lose it. Um, and then this eraser, I don't know what about that. The, the patch, it's a patch. Uh, mummy, I'm not even sure if it's a keychain or what it is. These I've never been a fan for. Or even back when like Lance Armstrong was pushing these things, I wasn't wearing yeah. one of these. I, I, these just don't do it for me. Magnet, yeah. And then the sticker is just absolute waste. Yeah. This thing is horrible. Or maybe it's a tattoo. I don't think so. Uh, it is. I was hoping it was a tattoo because then, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, a mixed bag. I don't know. I don't think you can find these at your stores anymore. They're clearanced out. They were there for the Halloween season. Maybe we'll see another round of them for Halloween, and then we'll come back and we'll unbox another one and they'd be disappointed all over again. Uh, but it is what it is. Any final thoughts? Would you have picked this up for five dollars if you saw it? Uh, probably not. It, but. <laughs> You know, I just urge you, don't make mistakes so you don't have to erase with it. That's true. If you don't make a it's, mistake. It's mint now. But you know what they always say? There's a reason pencils have erasers. True. We all make mistakes. Sometimes. True. Sometimes. Well, there it is. Universal blind bag unboxing. A mixed bag, mixed results, but a lot of fun at the end of the day. It was worth five bucks for the fun. Sure. Sure. So that's it. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Follow along on Patreon. I'm going to try to get my dad to get a Patreon exclusive video series for the channel. So stay tuned to that. Patreon only, guys. Uh, you got to pay the big money to see uh, what he's up to. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to do Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Of course, you can find me there. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel. Pick up a t-shirt. And then you can find my dad where? Right here. Wherever the wind blows at the Wherever. golf course pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. yeah. Starting this week, probably. Starting this week. How many uh, How many days a week do you think you're planning on golfing this summer? I would say at least four days a week. Four days a week. While right. Kyle is deep in the salt mines, working and slaving away, you'll be out of that golf well, course. I don't always golf on Fridays. Sometimes it's five days, but there's too many tourists out there on the Amateur. on Friday. Amateur Tour hour. Tourists. I, I can't deal with You're them. smart. You go the Monday through the Thursday. Exactly. And you get What time do you usually start your golf game? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. And then you're off the course by like what? 8.30. That's that's how you do it, folks. Six thirty, eight thirty. You it's go an easy, home. It's an easy game. It's just tee to green. Tee it to is, green. and when there's nobody in your way, exactly, and they all know you out there. Yeah. They they say hi to you and see what you're up they to. Do. Uh, can you bring your dog on the golf course if uh, we get you one? Some people do. Uh, they chase Canadian geese away from the. So if you need to borrow our, our mutual friend Lemmy, he will come with he you. Would he do would that. be happy to come anywhere he with you. He loves a good time outside. He he would love to be on the golf course. He would course. chase balls too. He would. He would chase. You would hit it off the driver <laughs> and he'd be gone. He'd, he'd bring just it back. be following. He'd bring it all back because Lemmy loves nothing more in his life than fetch. If he could play fetch twenty four seven, he would. There's been times he's almost had a heart attack I've because he that. does not give up. I've seen he that. never quits. He never surrenders. And he does somersaults in the air. To and he will. He will. Amazing. He's a legend, that Lemmy. Oh, yeah. Lemmy. Four years old. Who would have thought? Yeah. There it is. Universal Monster Blind Bag Madness. Uh, I'm Kyle. This is my dad. Thank you, Dad, for coming once again. Yeah, thank you. And we'll be back real soon. Mm -hmm.